Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick with Andy Eagle. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you some basic commands to use INI files with GameMaker. And if you don't really know what they're used for, then uh, basically it's to save certain information so every time you open your game, it'll still be there. Like, um,. It can be used for multiple save files if you're doing it in the uh, the way the old uh, Legend of Zelda games were, for instance, for example. Or you could also use them for multiplayer accounts in your game. But uh, this is only going to be covering basic commands. It's not really going to put together anything special. But there will be another tutorial that I'll make that will make multiple saved games file game files using INI files. So the first thing we want to do is minimize game maker. Alright, and I already have a folder here, so let's just open that up. And I need to open notepad here and save as and in this folder we'll name it file.ini. Okay. Now I need to create something called a section. And how we do this is create our uh, top one of these brackets, then the name of the section, and then the ending bracket. Okay, now let's save that again. And we'll go back to Game Maker here. And we'll create an object. And in the create event, we need to open the file. like that it just opens uh, the specified file okay and now in the key press enter event Okay, so what we have here is, I'm sure you know what this does, it's just pulling a string and storing it into the right variable. But this, what it does is it writes whatever you put into the specified part of the INI file. So the section, like we created earlier, we are storing this in the name section, and this part it's called a key, but you can think of it as a variable. And this is the value of that variable, which it's just going to be whatever you typed in up here. Okay, now let's go on ahead and add a key press space. Okay, so what this is going to do is the INI underscore read underscore string. It reads whatever part you tell it to read of the INI file. So once again, this is the section we're going to be reading from. This is the variable we're going to be reading. And this is uh, default. So basically, if this variable does not exist, then it's going to display this message. And right here, we're just going to uh, show a message showing uh, whatever read is equal to, which is going to be this. Okay, now we need to save our file. And it needs to be saved into the same file that you have your INI file. Now let's create a room and put that in there. Save it again, and let's run it. Okay, now let's hit enter. 
and we'll type in a name and hit space and it tells us that name okay let's get out of this real quick and we'll go to this file and open up the INI file as you can see we've got some text in there that we didn't type in when we were when we were creating this file it was all done inside of GameMaker okay so let's run it one more time this time we're not gonna hit enter just press space and it tells you that name again and normally this wouldn't be possible but that information is already stored into the INI file and GameMaker is just pulling it into that message bubble right there and if we want we can change the name maybe uh, Valerie and there we have it and if we were go to go into the INI file that is our name now the only thing left to do is to let you know that when you open an INI file you should always close it when you're done so add in an event maybe a uh, game uh, that was room we need game end there we go so when this game ends then it's gonna close the INI file that you have open so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and remember this is not all of the commands for INI files there's still a few more but this is the very basics and this will get you started and allow you to create things like multiple saved game files so that's it for this tutorial and I'll see you next time